the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, April 13th. I'm James Spann. The ridge builds across the deep south. That means very warm, mostly dry weather through Easter. And quite frankly, not that much change next week. But there's hope we'll see a pattern change before the summer gets here, and we need one. Check it out. There's the water vapor satellite view this morning. Ridging here, the main wave action. The storm track, if you will, stays well to the north up on the Canadian border. Pretty, pretty good trough coming into the Pacific Northwest this morning. Very comfortable this morning. Temperatures are mostly in the 50s, although Fort Payne's our cool spot. They've got 46. Gadsden, 51. Birmingham at 58. We go in the mid-80s today. That's about 10 degrees above average, much like uh, yesterday. The air nice and cool over Canada in the far northern states, but uh, no way will that reach us anytime soon. Watch morning map, amazingly quiet for mid-April. And the severe weather outlook, amazingly quiet for mid-April. That's the convective outlook today and tonight. Just a marginal risk over parts of West Texas, South New Mexico. Tomorrow, marginal risk over the Western High Plains. And on day three, which is Saturday, maybe an active day for parts of the nation's breadbasket. But again, down here, things just very quiet. Accordingly, not much rain for the next five days. This is the rain ballot through Thursday morning of next week. Generally, one half inch or less. We could see a few scattered showers early next week. Monday, maybe Tuesday, but rain amounts probably not very impressive. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 06E run, 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. 582 Ridge here, big trough in the Pacific Northwest. For us, warm and dry, both the NAM and the GFS are at 84 today. Same thing tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny, highs 81 to 85. And for the Easter weekend, the weather just not changing much. Mostly sunny, highs over 80 on Saturday and Easter Sunday, the same thing. And I guess maybe on some afternoon here, there could be a speck or two on radar, but the chance is so small, not even worth the mention right now. Now, Monday, a surface front approaches from the north, and that will likely bring the chance of a few scattered showers by Monday afternoon, probably nothing too heavy or widespread. And then Tuesday, the front, if anything, lifts northward as a warm front in response to a surface low developing over Kansas. And again, maybe a shower, but certainly nothing widespread. Wednesday, a deep surface low forms east of Denver. That looks warm and dry. And a week from today, this is Thursday, the 20th of April, that's a pretty good-looking negative tilt trough out across the high plains, and a very intense surface low shows up southwest of Minneapolis-St. Paul. But for us, we're still warm and dry. That thing's headed up toward Canada. Uh, this is Saturday, April 22nd, evidence of a cold front coming in here. That could bring a chance of showers and storms. And then the following day, Sunday the 23rd, pretty good trough moving in here, kind of squelching the ridge. And you can see a northerly flow there, and that should bring cooler air. In fact, these are the anomalies for uh, Sunday the 23rd. You can see the uh, cold front coming through Alabama with temperatures way below average behind that front. Here are the numbers coming off the European. You can see that change reflected uh, in about 10 days with Highs dropping back in the 70s and lows in the 50s toward the end of this month. But still, that's where we ought to be for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes of the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.